Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another edition of uh, Healthy Bite. Uh, this is a Ramadan special health program and uh, first time ever we're going to do live cookery at Aftari time. Uh, this is going to be a healthy cookery and it's the demo for you to understand how to make a healthy uh, food for yourself and for your family during the month of Ramadan and even after month of Ramadan. I'm pleased to inform you that uh, uh, Sophie is with me again. She is a dietitian and she works for a Blackton with Darwin Healthy Living. Welcome to the show. Thanks. So this is the live uh, demonstration. Yeah. What are we going to cook today? We're going to make some baked aubergine um, sort of spicy aubergine with vegetables and things in. It's really good because it's really, really healthy. We're using a small amount of oil. There's no salt in there. Instead of the salt, we're going to use um, extra lemon juice to give it a bit of extra flavor and make it taste really good. So this is a, a, a vital program for you to watch. It shows you exactly amount of ingredients you need, uh, the way, the method of cooking, and uh, how to make a healthy uh, food for yourself in month of Ramadan or after month of Ramadan. So let's see, what we, we, we're going to cook something special today. So yeah, the star of the show today is aubergine. Um, All right, is it <laughs> good for your health? It's really good, it's low calorie, um, as long as you cook it in a healthy way because of the texture of it. If you fry it, it soaks up the oil like a sponge. So that's why we're using tiny, tiny bit of um, oil to go with it. Um, this is a fresh one. Um, with this one, you can either bake it in the oven or you can microwave it, but make sure you prick it all over first so it doesn't explode out. Um, so we're going to use two of these aubergines for the recipe. We've got some okay. that are already cooked. Yeah, we already, <laughs> yeah, already prepared here. Yeah? Already prepared. So Sophie is going to teach us and here are some aubergine. So these are all cut into pieces. Um, these are, we're going to cut these into pieces. All right, okay. I'll put these down here. All right. I'll just go okay. okay, so we have a live demonstration of uh, healthy cooking. How are we going to do it? I have no idea, but Sophie is going to tell us. So Sophie, you've got some... Uh, we've aubergine. got some aubergines, which we've cooked in the microwave for about 10 to 15 minutes, depends how strong your microwave is. Um, we've got the oil or the pan on. We're just going to put a small amount of oil in here. Um, this is is there any gonna... specific oil you recommend, you know? Um, we're just using plain vegetable oil. Um, that one is better than sort of buttering ghee and things. Um, just, yeah, any vegetable oil yeah. is fine. And we're just going to put one important. tablespoon. We're going to yeah, measure it out. Just one <laughs> tablespoon, not more than that. If you dip it in, you've no idea how much goes in. So, so let's look at one tablespoon. One tablespoon. And that's gone in. That's plenty, plenty of oil for what we need. So we're just going to let that get a little bit warmer. Okay. And we'll put the onions in. So, so we early prepared onions. We've got mm. some onions already chopped up. Yeah. Um, there's about one, one kind of medium on onion in there. So it's going, going to go, go in. Yeah. Um, and we've got a pinch of cumin seeds as well. Cumin so seeds? Go in. Um, we'll let that fry up a little bit, get it right. nice and crispy on the edges. Yeah. And because it's a live demonstration, it's going to take a bit of time <laughs> to, to get that. First time ever on my channel, uh, we're going to do live healthy cooking, um, specifically for month of Ramadan. So. Don't turn the TV off, <laughs> carry on watching. Um, so while that's cooking away, we'll prepare the aubergines and okay. the tomatoes. So, so I'm going to cut the tomatoes. You're going to chop the tomatoes. All right, okay. <laughs> everybody gets involved in this one. So uh, nobody can see your uh, thing, <laughs> but everybody can see in mine. Everyone's working So do you have together. to do a little pieces or? Yeah, um, small pieces, because we want it to be quite a quick meal. Um, all right, something okay. that you can cook quite quickly. This is something I haven't learned, you know, and I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> So with the aubergine, we're just scraping the inside out. Um, if there's a lot of seeds in there, you can pull those out, but yeah. you don't have to. Um, you can eat the seeds as well. So. And be careful, it's a very sharp knife, you know, what Sophie gave <laughs> to me, so. Oh yeah, we all good over there? Yeah. So you can see you get quite a lot of flesh out of the aubergines. Um, and a lot of people find it's got quite a meaty texture, so they really yeah. enjoy having it. It's a really healthy way of um, cooking. So why do you have to do it in microwave? Is it because, is it because of the quickness or because of? Um... Um, it's because it's quick, um, yeah. but because you're not frying it, you're not adding any extra oil, um, and yeah, it's just a really easy yeah. way of doing it. And I can hear you know. The it's sizzling away. Sizzling away, yeah. 
By the way, just in case of fire, you know, please run away from the <laughs> studio. Um, so I'm, I'm struggling to cut my... He's doing good. He's doing, got a good job going on there. Yeah, doing live, you know. So um, I think my family will be well proud, you know, <laughs> that I'm getting training from... They'll that. be like, you can cook food all the time well, now. Well, this is it. This is it. This, you know, my family is going to say, well, you know, since you can cut uh, tomatoes... Uh, you can learn to cook, so this is something <laughs> perhaps I learned from Uma channel. Uh, so you're watching this uh, special transmission. Sophie's with with us. She's a dietitian. Now to be very careful, not chop my fingers. <laughs> um, we'll and she's asking. preparing something very special. So this is uh, bangan curry, which is um, very special. To be honest, and I'm looking forward to because uh, we hadn't had for a long time. And uh, if you're not vegetarian. This is the first thing you need to try, you know. Um, and okay, it smells really nice. It's a good one to try if you're not vegetarian because it's got um, really nice flavours and things in it. Um, and it's not too strong. Yeah. You can make it as chilly as you want. Um, you could use different vegetables. You could put extra peas or carrots or mushrooms or okra or anything yeah. into here. Absolutely. Yeah. And okay, so. I hope it's not going to catch fire or anything. <laughs> We've made this a few times. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> So with the flesh that I've taken out of the aubergines, I'm just going to chop it into sort of pieces because it's already cooked. It just kind of squashes down into You can tell that I'm not very trained because it's going to take me a while. But uh, I'm You've done it, it's perfect. That. Have See? I done all right? You've done, you done excellent. So this is my job for today. Um, I have no idea that I'm going to do <laughs> cut the... Well, you, you might um, not have come if, if yeah, I said that you were going to have to get chopping as absolutely. well. <laughs> so Sophie is busy cutting. Wow, that's, that's fine little pieces, isn't it? Yeah, so small pieces. So this is a live demonstration. First time ever on, on my channel in month of Ramadan. This is perfect uh, dish for your aftari. Um, is, it, is it how many people can have this dish when it's finally cooked? Um, you could have it for up to about four people. It depends people. how hungry. It depends how <laughs> hungry you are. Yeah. Um, you could have it as a side dish with some like grilled chicken or some grilled meat or um, some yeah. other foods as well. So this was the original bangan, <laughs> and now it's been all cut into pieces, and the uh, onion is sizzling away. Yeah, so it's all getting away. We've got some um, ginger and garlic and some chilies. So there's ginger and garlic as well. Yep, all, the, all of them, well. all of the spices, all the masala goes in. Um, so once the onions are ready, they've got sort of just a little bit of brown on the edge. Um, and we're going to add um, the garlic and ginger. So we're going to use a grater to just grate that in, um, just on the sides. So you can use the garlic and ginger paste if you want. That still works out just as okay, good. Okay, I'll, I'll pretend that so. I'm doing something. <laughs> we'll put that one in. All right, okay, so that's ginger. That's the garlic. And oh, that's garlic. We'll put some of this ginger in as well. Give it really nice fresh flavours. So it's getting a bit brownish now. So is that what we're looking at? The bit yeah. of brownishness. A little bit so of that's brown. Ginger. Yep, garlic and ginger have gone in. And that's good for taste, is it? Yep. Good for health as well. Yep, good for health as well. Lots of taste. It means you don't have to put as much salt in there because you've got all those extra, really nice, yeah. really fresh flavours. And I've noticed, you know, the pan you're using it is it's very it's, it's, it's non-stick pan as well, isn't it? It's yeah. very good for cooking. So if you're thinking about investing on something get a little frying pan like this uh, it doesn't stick at all it's very good so we'll put the chilies in as well or some chilies so as well so you don't have to use a lot of chili or if you like it really chilly you can put extras in it's fine so it's according to your taste really isn't yeah. it yeah whatever 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 tastes good for yeah, you absolutely okay so we'll just give this a little bit of a stir just to get the and oils what about and the, the, the tomato out. I beautifully cooked <laughs> Your beautiful tomato into pieces, yeah. is going to go in at this point as well. Now the garlic and ginger has just been cooking a little bit. So okay. we'll tip that in. Okay. We'll put yours in as well. All of that. So there's about two tomatoes that go in all together. Okay, that's gone in. You can hear it sizzle. So at least I can say, first time ever, live on my <laughs> channel, that I have actually made some contribution towards cooking. Okay. Uh, in the holy month of Ramadan. So we've got in there onions, ginger, garlic, chilli, yeah. tomatoes. We're going yeah. to put some um, masala in. So we've got um, cumin, coriander, turmeric and some black pepper. Okay. If you wanted to put chilli powder in at this point as well, you can do that to do as well. Okay, so you got chilli powder here. All we've right. got it all here already so measured uh, out. So which one is also... So um, turmeric, black pepper, cumin and coriander. 
it's about a teaspoon of each and then sort of half a teaspoon of the turmeric um, and that will all just go in together to start cooking up yeah. and give it a bit of a mix around. So we want to start this cooking so that it's going to, all the water is going to come out of the tomatoes and it's making a really nice sauce. And certainly, that's, you probably can't smell, but it's uh, it a good. really nice smell. Um, the whole studio probably smells, you know, so a person who's coming to do the next uh, live show, <laughs> they probably struggle a bit. Um, and especially when you're fasting, I think smells even better. Yeah, it's difficult when you're fasting because you can't taste as you go along. Yeah. But one of these, it's like once you made it a few times, and you know kind of what to put in. So whatever you'd normally have, it's like, yeah, you get used to it. And Sophie, can I say, it's very colourful as well, isn't it? There's yeah. a variety of colours, so it looks very... It does, it looks oh, really good yeah. and really good vibrant. Good for your eyes, and, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it, looks, it looks like healthy food, absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. So we're just going to leave this for a few minutes, maybe five minutes, just to um, um, kind of cook down and just yeah. let all of the juice come out of the tomatoes and things. So once it's kind of all done, yeah. that's when your aubergine comes into it. So aubergine will come right... Yeah, so Later we want to keep it. All the all the ingredients are. Let them in like place. mellow out, chill out, get a like get to know each other a bit, kind of get a bit friendly, and we'll add all of this in. And you used oil, and you wouldn't recommend the butter, ghee, or anything else. No, like just normal oil is perfect. You don't need anything extra. Um, the oil in the or the the fat in the oil is better for you than the solid fat. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we use. Um, a small amount. We've only used like a one tablespoon, so it's only a small bit anyway. Um, just enough to stop it sticking to the pan yeah. and give it, bring those sort of extra flavours out as well. Okay. So it's, it's baked as well, isn't it? It's yeah, baked. like you can bake the aubergine in the oven. Um, we've microwaved it because it's really quick. Um, but yeah, you can bake it in the oven. It's better to do that than have it um, boiled or anything mm -hmm. because um, it's a bit drier. Um, when you boil it, the vitamins come out into the water and you lose a lot of that texture. So keeping it baked yeah. is definitely a good way to go. And one of the strongest points is that when you're making the food, it's not about the portion and size, although it's very important, but it's the cooking method have to be really important. Yeah. So you've got some more. Oh, are we so ready? We'll, we'll put the aubergine in now. We'll just cook down a in. bit. So we'll put all of that in. So they're all microwave yep. oven? Yeah, microwave ovens all put in together and we'll just mix it in and then this again is going to cook for a few minutes um, just to let all the flavours kind of get into the aubergine as well. And smell is incredible. <laughs> uh, if you're in the studio you can feel that smell. And I think this is the important bit, isn't it? When you make food, smell actually plays a very important role and I think it's not just the it's the texture and it's the, yeah. it's, the, it's, the, it's the presentation as well, isn't it? I can see a lot of colours in there. Yeah, uh, definitely. It's, it's how it looks. Absolutely. Like you eat with your eyes as well. So. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to leave this for a few minutes. Um, do what you want for a few minutes while it all cooks down um, and gets all those flavours all in together. Okay, brilliant. So what we're we going to do after that? We're just basically um, that's it. That's, that's it's it. Ready then. We'll put the lemon juice in, and that's a, pretty much it. Take all of this down here, so you can see it's really, really quick. Okay. Easy for people to do. It's a very quick dish as well, isn't it? Mm, really, really quick. Okay. Also. So what's this? Okay, so this one is some fresh fenugreek, some um, meti in there. So if you want to chop that for me. So this is meti? Yeah, fresh. Oh, meti is very good, you know. It's very good for you. So this is the meti I'm going to cut. Yep, you're going to... And gonna then <laughs> you've got the coriander. Yep, I've got the coriander, the fresh coriander. And it's really good, isn't it? It's really good. It adds so much flavour, really light, delicate okay. kind of fragrant yeah. flavours. 
Um, you can use the stalks as well. You get just a lot of flavour in that as well. Oh, can you? Yeah. For meti as well? Yeah, for meti too. I never cut meti. Some people get it, uh, buy it um, ready prepared, you know, the powdered stuff as yep. well? Yeah, yeah. You'd, you you'd use a little bit less of the powdered stuff. Okay. Because um, it's a little bit stronger. Um, you can get it as dried leaves as well, um, right, if you want okay. to. Um, but yeah, it's all good. And as I said, you know, I'm not, I never ever cooked a meti in my life. <laughs> and this is the first time I'm going to do it. I was going to say, first time for everything. You'll see how easy and how good it is. It's like, oh yeah, this it's really it. quick. It looks amazing. And everyone will be like, oh, yeah, I can come and do that. Yeah. <laughs> and as I said, you know, you've chosen the fresh ingredient. That's good for you, for your health, isn't it? Yeah, the fresh stuff is good. You can get the frozen other, other ones as well as fine. Um, but I think with, um, particularly with herbs and things, you get so much more flavour from, from the fresh ones. It's a different flavour to the dried ones. So okay. I didn't so do a very good job. You've done of an excellent it, job. We can, we can put that in. It's all, all ready to go. It's all ready to go. Yep. All right. Okay. So, we'll so it's ready to go. Let's look at it. So the aubergine's been cooking down for three or four minutes. So it's just getting a little bit of extra okay. flavor in there. So methi has gone in. That one's gone in. So that's the greenish bit cut specially <laughs> by me. Perfectly cut by Shakil. And skill. that smells, isn't it? It's yeah. a superb smell and methi. As I said, you know, it's, uh, it's very traditional. It's always been used for a lot of Asian cooking. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you've got a bit of lemon as well. We've got some that? lemon as well. This is going to be used instead of the um, salt. So, you so can there's use no salt in this dish We haven't dish put at any all. salt in, none at all. Wow. Um, so this is a salt-free dish. No <laughs> salt at all. And lemon is Just going to be used. Just a squeeze will do it. Yeah. So the purpose of putting a bit of lemon is to just taste. Yeah, it's taste. It just makes it a little bit fresher, that kind of really zesty, um, kind of really, it's a little bit different. If you're not used to having a lot of lemon in food, yeah. it's like that little bit of sourness is really good, especially with the aubergine. Give that a mix through. And then we'll just put a little bit of the coriander in. Oh, so coriander is going in, all right, yeah. okay. So we'll cook that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but because it's fresh herbs, it doesn't need cooking a lot. Um, you want to keep all of that fresh flavours in there. So coriander go right at the end. Right at the end. And, and again, it's very colourful, smells beautiful. Um, it's a, a fantastic smell, um, look really nice. <laughs> um, and you, oh, is it almost ready to eat? Yeah, it's pretty much ready to is go. It? You could have this with um, rice or with um, some kind of naan or chapatis, yeah. or you could just have it on its own if you like. Um, as soon as we're on TV, we'll fancy it up and put it back inside, oh, inside in, the, the so case. So this is the design. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> this is the design of it. Okay, so this is the this is the bengan, you know, we cut <laughs> into pieces earlier on. Are you going to recycle it? Recycle it, repackage it, because you can still eat the skin if you want to. That is really amazing, isn't it? Especially for children, isn't it? It's a fun way yeah. of eating. And like I said, eat with your eyes, make it look beautiful and it tastes so much better. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's okay, really go. good. Look at that. So I'll put it on extra little bit of And you put extra little bit of uh, dania on top of it. And it's all done. And that is your fantastic dish then. It's superb. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> so I'm going to wait a couple of more minutes for a uh, month of, uh, you know, the, when the fasting is over. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we can do some um, dessert as well if you want. If there's time, so we can do is that really the quick. best thing to break over fast, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a good yeah. thing because it's, it's a hardly very got good, oil. healthy. So there's no many, not many calories. It's prepared, very healthy food. Yeah. So just just tell us what you used again, just to remind people. So you started with. We started off in the pan with um, a tablespoon of oil, some onions, and some cumin seeds. Um, brown it off until it goes. You've got a little yeah. bit of brown on the edges. Um, add in some tomatoes. Um, your dry masala, like the cumin, coriander, turmeric, yeah. black pepper. Cook that up for a bit, let it get soft, um, cook it down. Stick some chilies in if you want some extra chilli heat, some chilli powder if you want a bit extra. Um, microwave the aubergines till they're nice and cooked. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes, depends how strong your microwave is. Chop it up into little pieces. You can add the skin in as well if you want to. Put it all in, give it a mix around, let it mellow out together for a little while. Lemon juice at the end, some um, fresh um, coriander and fenugreek. Let it cook for a little bit and that's it. Finished. That's Delicious. Finished. 
So um, one of the reasons we've chosen a vegetable dish is it's good for your heart, good for your health. Yeah, it's good for your heart, it's good for your health. It's got lots of vitamins and minerals in there. It's got lots of fibre in there. Um, and again, it's, some red meat is okay, but we want to have some, some days where we don't have red meat. We maybe have chicken or fish or lentils or chickpeas or something. Um, so it's just mixing it up, getting different flavours, different textures, um, just to make food more exciting so it's not the same food every day. And one of the reasons uh, we've shown this live demonstration is to show people the way we look at ingredients. You need to really make sure that it's the proper amount and the proper ingredient you use. You use a lot of fresh products. Yeah, lots of fresh ones. And smell is there. It smells good. It's going to taste good, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fresh foods is always good. You, like I know how much oil has gone in there because I put it in. Um, I know how much salt is in there because I didn't put any in. Um, so the more you know about the food, the better it is, definitely. And another thing is, one of the important things is you use a special pan, it's a mm -hmm. non-stick. Yeah, non-stick pan. pan. If you, could, like, you can get them all over the place. A little bit of oil and it's perfect. You can do onions in there, stick the lid on, let them kind of fry and steam themselves out and it's really good. Yeah. And you use a lot of masalas, mm -hmm. but no salt at all. No salt, extra masala to take out so we don't need so much of the salt. Yeah. But you use methi and coriander mm -hmm. and dhania and other uh, spices to make it a very nice flavour. Yeah. It's very colourful. Uh, it's a fun way of uh, persuading your children yeah. to eat. Um, and as I said, you know, you used um, microwave oven mm -hmm. to, yeah. to, to prepare uh, this special dish uh, earlier on. It's the Bangan uh, aubergine. Um, and it's a fantastic way to do that. Oil, you use... One spoon, one tablespoon of oil, that's all it needed. If you wanted, you could use less, you could use that spray oil. Um, some brands of that are really good. You um, use some uh, real green just, chilies. Yeah, real green chilies. I like a little bit of spice. So Do you? If, you, if you're not so keen on the, on the chilli, you don't have to put the chilies in. You could just use a little bit of chilli powder or do the chilies without the seeds and it takes a little bit of the heat out. But yeah, it's good. So what will be your key message while most of our uh, family is actually busy cooking in the kitchen at the moment is to think and think healthy food. So what yeah. would be the key message from you? I think, think about it. It's healthy um, and you just look at how much oil and salt you're using. You don't have to cut it all out straight away. Um, it's just using a little bit less each time. Um, but choosing foods that you enjoy, foods that everyone else enjoys, or maybe cooking it in a different way so that things that they didn't like, actually, they're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't mind this now. Aubergine probably wasn't one of my favourites, but I quite like this one now. I've cooked it a few times. <laughs> you? I'm enjoying the aubergine now. Um, but yeah, cook things different ways, experiment with it, try it out and see. And as I said, you know, people can experiment with different dishes, you know. Yep. Uh, bindi, you know, the f uh, f uh, ladyfinger, mm. yep. it's my favourite, I love yeah. it, okra. Okra. Um, and, and people prefer lentils and all sorts of other things. Yeah. Fish is good for your health. Yeah, so especially the oily fish, like things like salmon and mackerel and yeah. sardines and herring is really good. Yeah. yeah, and you use methi, which is fantastic because I thought, it's some, something, you know, out of fashion nowadays, but yeah. it's still very flavoured. Yeah, it's yeah. got a lot of really strong flavour, so you only need a small amount, but it really adds some extra okay. delicious Fantastic. Flavor. Sophie, you and me are going to enjoy this special <laughs> dish prepared by Sophie. Uh, can I just say thank you very much, Sophie, for no coming worries. along Thanks. and preparing a fantastic dis dish for us. And this is perfect opportunity for all of you to get hold of this if you would like more information get in touch with us so um, there is actually a book isn't it there yeah is a it's a british heart foundation book and um, you can get it free if you go onto the internet it's got some really really good recipes lots of them in there to choose yeah. from so british heart foundation has a fantastic recipe book get hold of it sophie thank you very much That's for coming right. along and talking to us and preparing a fantastic dish <laughs> me and sophie are going to share this uh, and uh, take this opportunity to pr prepare a healthy meal for Aftari, for yourself and for your family. Be healthy and be active. Uh, with that note, can I just say a big thank you to uh, Blackman with Darwin Healthy Living, who has given us uh, a dietitian like Sophie, who's given us uh, a plenty of time um, to give us a fantastic uh, recipes and at the same time uh, uh, tips on healthy Ramadan. Thank you very much. 
and I'll see you in another program. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.